actually made it to uh, semifinals at I think the you went to the Granite Games at one point. Yeah, in twenty twenty one, I did. Yeah. yeah. So what what was it like with like all those athletes and you know just being there at the semifinals? Um, it was. I mean, it was cool. It was exciting. Like, because I always wanted to compete at regionals, and by the time I was like at the level where I could have made it, I they canceled regionals. All right, so I did. Yeah, so I went to sanctionals. I went to two of the sanctionals before they also canceled that because of COVID. <laughs> so it wasn't like my first big comp. Like I'd been on a big stage before. Like at, I was at, at sanctionals, but it was my first like I guess big individual competition in the U.S. So it was exciting. Yeah, and and what was it like like seeing all like those games athletes and other people that are just like r- like trying to get a spot in? Um, well, I guess like at the, I mean, I was training, we had like a really nice training group on site that year in 2021, like Alessandra Pacelli was like part of the training group and like, it was cool getting to watch her qualify for the games that year at Granite Games. Mm-hmm. Um, like Lauren, a bunch of people, Lauren Fisher was here, like Alexis, like a bunch of girls were all, we all like would train together, like on site. So, I mean, when you're at a competition, you're not really too focused on when anyone else is like you're just trying to like do the best you can and everyone's pretty nice for the most part yeah and so with that whole with that whole training group did you guys like eat breakfast together or kind of like you guys had your own set schedule and you're like just leave me leave me um, alone yeah I, was, I don't know what anyone else yeah like you there's a lot of training like we usually like wake up like first session like 8 or 8 30 and then like a midday session or like a p.m session so it's like go to the gym like train eat go back to the gym, go home, eat, and back to the gym, eat, sleep, come back the next day <laughs> <laughs> and like work at some point in between all that. <laughs> yeah. And, and how, how do you manage? Like, I know, I know you're all like online with your personal yeah. training and yoga and stuff like that. So how do you manage like balancing, you know, being an athlete and having a full-time, well, having a full-time job? Yeah. Well, it's nice. I can make my own schedule for things. So I do most of my work on my rest days, like Thursdays and Sundays, I do a lot of work. And then in between sessions or like before sessions, I'll get a lot done as well. Cause I know, and in the evening, I just do things throughout the day. <laughs> okay. I've been doing it for so long. It just comes naturally. It's just like, a yeah, yeah. Yeah. I could see that. And also you... chaos. Yeah. I mean, I could see that's, that's like me too. I'm like, so used to like doing the same thing over and over again, even with like kids, like running in the background and just like uh, screaming yeah. the whole time. So just get the hang oh, of it sure. so yeah with kids that's a curveball because like you never know what they can throw at you <laughs> yeah well, true true yeah my yeah. so my um i so i have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old so they and one's a boy the oldest one's a boy and the youngest one's a girl and so okay. they they are they are at it with each other like all the time and it's just like chill out just like separate like go when well, you go upstairs you stay down here like i don't like don't i don't want you guys arguing like it's stop <laughs> do they always fight do they ever get along uh no they they they, they love each other like very much <laughs> it's just like my son is like it's almost like he's trying to like poke the bear a little bit to, for my daughter and he's just like trying to see like how far he can get to before she like starts getting mad and maybe before i get i get mad so or my or my wife gets mad so it's kind of yeah. like yeah he's trying to like test the waters a little bit oh how fun <laughs> yeah yeah, it's great. And he's like doing the gritty the whole time, like when he's just like running away and just like stupid stuff. And it's just like, ah, oh, God, I want to kill you. I want to kill you, but I love you. Yeah, it's tough. But it's cute. <laughs> Do they play but, uh, sports? Yeah. So um, my son, he plays soccer, basketball. He played flag football. Uh, my daughter, she is playing soccer this year. Actually, um, next week, she starts the season. So I'm the official head coach of her team. Oh, nice. so. Yeah. And it like, it's my, my wife's like, are you, are you, do you know how to coach like five Soccer. and six year olds? And I'm like, You're like it's like lacrosse. <laughs> yeah. It's not hard. It's just like, all right, two lines, just kick to one another and just like do a little scrimmage and just see how you dribble. Like that's, that's it. So yeah, I feel, you got this. Yeah. It's, it's, they don't have a, they, they don't even have a goalie. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, okay, just you run and kick in the net. Now. Yeah. 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 It's like run, just kick it in the net. Oh, yay. Okay. Then you start back, start back in the middle and go back again. So, and Easy. then, 
Yeah, and then my son played flag football this year, and I was the head coach for that too because I was the idiot, and I was just like, oh, I'll just like be the assistant coach, and I put my email down, and then all of a sudden my wife's like, you know you're the head coach of the football team, right? And I was like, uh-huh. what? What? And I was, I was like, no, that can't be. I asked for an assistant coach job. And they're like, no, you're the head coach and you don't even have an assistant coach to help you out. No one, no one else signed up. No, no one else signed up. And I'm sitting there <laughs> like, who? And so I talked to the, uh, the guy that was running the flag football thing. And I'm like, Hey, I need, I need some help. Like, I don't, yeah. you know? And so they're like, Oh, one of the, one of the guy's sons was interested in helping you out. I was just like, thank God. And so him and I did it. And so it was, it wasn't the greatest season, but whatever. I mean, the kids did learned. Your best. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> I had, I had the only female on my team. And then like, I think the majority of the kids were all uh, like third graders. No, no second graders. So when they, when they got the football, they would run the other side of the, like run the wrong oh. way. And I'm sitting there like, no, the other way, the other oh, way. Oh man. Like yeah. out of a movie, like, <laughs> Yeah. And like the underdog they could, team. Yeah. yeah, they couldn't line up. And it was just like it was just it was frustrating, but it was it was fun at the same time too. So I mean obviously the kids want to win, but it's you know yeah. it is what it is. It it's a good learning experience. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's just flag football. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's who cares? I mean, you're gonna you're gonna go wake up the next day and be perfectly fine. Yes. <laughs> so that that's what I do with like him watching sports, my son watching sports, so he gets so mad at some of the football teams. And so I'm like, dude, they don't, they don't care. They don't know who you are. So like, yeah. Why even like bother? Like get so like pissed off about it. Sport, yeah. It's the thing with sport. You get emotionally invested. Yeah. I mean, I, I get emotionally invested sometimes, but then like after the game's over and I'm like, okay, that's it. Yeah. He'll yeah. learn to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So are, are you, are you a sports fan? Like, do you follow football or um, anything? I follow, I don't, I follow football. And that's about like NFL. I don't really watch college football other than like a Michigan game. Yeah. But I only follow NFL. I don't really watch basketball unless it's the playoffs <laughs> um, yeah. or any other sport. Yeah. So I do, I do football. I'm in a fantasy football league. Okay. Okay. I know. Yeah. So that I watch. Yeah. So are you a Jets fan, Giants fan? I'm a Vikings fan. Why the Vikings? Yeah. My brother like loves the Vikings and year like when he was like he liked writing like blogs and stuff about football so he had like a very good reason for like like choosing the vikings as a team to like like that he wrote about when he was like like eight or ten years old and my whole family like just got on board with it <laughs> okay so we're all vikings fans <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome what do you think about Kirk cousins possibly leaving um based off of his opinion which we we just agree with like we'd be happy he, my brother's not a big Kirk Cousins fan, so wouldn't mind. But I like Kirk Cousins, so I'd be sad if he left. I think he's awesome. I watched yeah. that documentary with it, like um, the quarterback documentary on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Made me like him more. Yeah, thank you, thank he, it was, it was funny. Like he was, they always make fun of him, like saying he got like Cole's cash from like half of his outfits he wore, like during press conferences and stuff like yeah. that. So it's so funny. It's just his wife just picks them out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like, just, like picks out all of his outfits. <laughs> Yeah, and he's just like whatever. Like that, that's almost like my wife too. Like I, I could wear like shorts and a t-shirt like all day long. Like I don't care. Yeah. Like same ratty jeans or whatever. And she'll, she be like, I got something for you. And she's like, I'm like, all right, cool. So I'll just yeah. wear something nice, and that's it. Yeah, I think that was great. That like it made it better to know like that she picked it out and he just wore it. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. See, he's very trusting. 